Keeping up with posting on social media every single day can be really difficult, especially if you don't have pre-planned content to post. Hi everyone, I'm Lydia and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about branding Pinterest graphics, Instagram stories and Instagram posts so you will be recognized on social media a lot more, people will follow you more on different platforms and engage with you more which will lead to more exposure for you and more sales. What I use for this, I'm going to just go and say it, I use branded social media graphics that are already designed. So I've created some for my own brand, Pinterest graphics, but I can create some for you too that are branded just for your business. If you want to see those, you can click the link below for my Pinterest management services that also has that pack. Or you can just go to my shop or any other shop to shop for already designed templates for Instagram stories, posts and Pinterest graphics. That way you will have the same kind of branded coloring in your social media templates so you will be recognized. But if you're not looking to purchase anything and just create your own social media templates and are wondering how you can brand your social media platforms without buying anything, I have a few tips for you. My first tip for creating branded social media content is editing the photos you post in the same way. So either you are using pictures of yourself or anybody else on your social media platforms such as Instagram posts or stories or even if you're just using them as a backdrop for your Pinterest graphics, make sure you're editing them in the same way or choosing images that are already edited in the same way way. So what do I mean by that is I mean you can use Lightroom presets which is something that I do and if you want to see a few of my own Lightroom presets you can click the link below. You can create your own Lightroom presets with the Lightroom mobile app which is free or just try and choose images and edit images in the kind of the same way. So don't color an image really pink and then color one really yellow unless that's your branding style and you combine those two. But if you don't and your branding is more brown toned, uh, yellow, warm toned, keep those colors in those images, in the editing and in the photos in general. Besides editing the photos the same, make sure that the pictures you post have the same kind of colored elements in them. So for example, you can see on the screen right now there are a bunch of pictures that have kind of the same coloring in them. So they have elements that are the same colors as in other photos. To make sure that you know your brand's colors, fonts and everything else, you could use the template that I have below to brand your business with a business mood board. Then you will know what the elements, the colors are that represent your brand and you can stick to those to brand your social media platforms as well. Then if you must use fonts in your Instagram posts or stories or Pinterest graphics, make sure they are really nicely arranged but just make sure that you add the text that fits your brand as well so don't use too many fonts and try to keep it within your branding don't forget to be creative and always try new things like adding simple elements in your stories creating animated stories animated pin graphic to make things a little bit more visual and entertaining for your audience now let me show you how I would brand and how I brand my social media content. For my pin graphics I use Canva. I already have pre-designed templates that I've created for myself and I made sure to use the colors that I have in my branding mood board so I would keep them branded and really visually entertaining. First thing that I do for my YouTube thumbnails or from Instagram posts I edit them with a Lightroom preset and for the Pinterest graphics I just add a little bit more text and I take free stock images from websites like unsplash.com and I use those and I find firstly I find the photos that have my brand's colors in them and I use those as a backdrop to my Pinterest graphics. If you're wondering I'm using Pinterest graphics to also promote my YouTube videos so you can see examples right here of Pinterest graphics that you can create to promote any type of content on your website or your YouTube channel. This is just an idea that is supposed to help you promote as much as your content as possible on Pinterest. Pinterest is really good at generating traffic for blogs and entrepreneur. If you want to learn more about Pinterest and how it can help you grow your business, you can check out the blog post that I have on it below. And if you want to work with me and let me help you grow your online business with Pinterest, check out my services below. If you want to remove the stress of having to design templates for your social media posts from scratch, you can just choose already designed templates and just edit the colors in your own brand colors, edit the fonts in your own brand fonts and add your own images to them. 
so that way you will not have to spend a lot of time to come up with designs for your social media template. You can either browse my shop to find such templates or you can go to Creative Market. Creative Market is a website that has so many templates for anything you want. I'm just going to leave a few of my favorite social media templates from Creative Market below. In my next video, I will show you how I brand and edit my YouTube thumbnail, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday and bonus personal development videos on Sundays. And make sure you press that notifications bell if you want to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it really helped you out, kind of understand how you're supposed to brand your social media. If it did, let me know below or what are your tricks for branding your social media content or staying consistent on social media thank you so much for joining me today as well and i really hope to see you in my next video